welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and today I'm sharing how to make a big, beautiful deco mesh wreath. So let's get started. I'm starting off with this 18 inch wire wreath form. I got this one at Dollarama. And for this wreath, I'm using these two tubes of mesh, one in icy blue and one in a sparkly white. Starting with the blue one, I'm measuring out a length of 25 inches per piece, then cutting it. And I'm holding down one end with a tape measure. You can use any kind of weight. And I'm folding the other end two or three times, then clipping it in place. Now I'm folding the other end about four times. Then I'm walking my fingers up to the other end of the mesh to create a bunched up bow. Now I'm taking a white pipe cleaner and tying the center of the bow together and taking off the clips. And this is our first mesh bow. For the white ones, I'm measuring out 23 inches because I wanted these bows to be a little bit smaller than the blue ones. And I'm doing the exact same method, folding one end of the mesh a few times, then clipping that in place, then turning it around, folding this end a few times, then walking my fingers to the other end, gathering the mesh as I go. I'm taking another pipe cleaner and tying the center of the bow. When I tied the pipe cleaners around the centers of these mesh bows, I left the ends sticking out so I can use these to tie the bows onto my wreath form. Now I'm going all around and attaching all the bows around the wreath. I'm tying the bows on the middle two rings of the wreath form. I ended up adding 17 blue mesh bows and nine white bows. I added all the blue bows first since they are the main feature of my wreath. Then I went in and added white bows as accents throughout the wreath. Next, I'm using these three ribbons from Michaels, a snowflake ribbon, a sparkly blue ribbon, and a silver ribbon. I'll be using these to make more bows for the wreath. I'm cutting each of the ribbons into 10 inch strips. Each bow will have two strips of each ribbon color. I'm folding each ribbon piece in half and cutting the ends to make dovetails. I'm placing the blue ribbon on the bottom, then the snowflake ribbon, then the silver ribbon on top. And I'm hot gluing these three strips together by adding dots of hot glue in the center of each ribbon. Once I have two sections of three ribbons all glued together, I'm crisscrossing them and hot gluing them together. I made five ribbon bows and I'm attaching them to the wreath using pipe cleaners. Next, I'm taking this piece of wood I got from Michaels and I'm making a sign for the center of the wreath. To start, I'm painting it white. I'm using this silver vinyl from Oracle and I'm cutting out the words, let it snow along with a couple of snowflakes with my Cricut.
Now that it's all cut out, it's time to weed out my design. Using transfer tape, I'm transferring this Let It Snow design onto my wood sign. I added the sign to the center of the wreath and my big deco mesh wreath is complete. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.